Hey class, this is Gigi. I am going to go over a pretty fun problem. And the problem is to find the derivative when y is equal to x to the x power. Okay, so the question is, can you just go ahead and say, oh, I'm just going to take this exponent and put it in front and subtract 1? The answer is no, right? Why not? Because the um, rule for differentiating the power function, which is x to the n power, is n times x to the n minus 1, where n is a real number. What do we have here? In this problem, we have x to the x power. That's not a number. It's not a constant like x to the n power, right? So this um, rule does not apply here. Okay, so nope, not here. Okay, not that. So if it's not that, what do we do? Well, we just, lucky you, just learn about implicit differentiation, right? So how am I going to use that? Well, if x was in there, maybe I can do that, um, can take the derivative. So how can I um, move the x somehow? Well, what I can do is go ahead and take the natural log of both sides, okay? And when I take the natural log of both sides, the property of log will apply. This on the left-hand side is ln of y. On the right-hand side, this x could go down, right? Natural log said the exponent can go in the front. So this becomes x multiplied by ln of x. Nice. Now I don't have to deal with the x on top as an exponent. Um, what I can do now is to go ahead and apply um, implicit differentiation. Okay, so we already know that no, this is not a um, power function, so we cannot apply the power rule. Okay, so however, we could go ahead and take log of both sides. Okay, now uh, let's keep track of what we are looking for though. We are looking for the derivative of y with respect to x because we uh, started out with y equals x to the x power, right? And we're asking you what the derivative is, meaning we are looking for what is dy dx. So let's go ahead and take um, the derivative of the left and the right hand side with respect to x. Okay, and that is why I have always said it is important to write the dy dx, y, because when we take the derivative of ln of y with respect to x, y then is going to be treated as a composite function in terms of x, just as you can see here. So that the chain rule will apply, meaning we are taking this derivative implicitly. And the one rule that we know um, is the derivative of ln of something is 1 over it. So then the derivative of um, ln of y is 1 over y multiplied by the inside derivative. And the inside derivative would be our dy dx. Okay, is equal to... On the right-hand side, we are taking the derivative with respect to x. These are x's. Those are the variable that we are taking the derivative with respect to. So that's just normal derivative. And so that we don't have to, uh, to apply the implicit differentiation there at that point, right? So product rule apply the derivative of x, which is 1, multiplied by ln of x plus the derivative of ln of x, is is 1 over x, multiplied by the first, which is x, x divided by x is 1, and then what we can do next is we can go ahead and solve for dy dx, which is what we are looking for. So dy dx is going to be ln of x plus 1 
multiply by, right? We have to undo division by multiplying by y to both sides. So dy dx will equal to um, y ln of x plus y if we wanted to distribute that out. Okay. So again, we started out with the function y equals x to the x power. And we say, hey, we cannot use the power rule right here. So we are going to go ahead and take ln of both sides. And when we take ln of both sides, the x could be moved to the front and that gives us x ln x. I don't have to deal with x as an exponent anymore. However, I have to deal with a little implicit differentiation here because we are taking a derivative of ln of y with respect to x. So that would be 1 over y multiplied by the inside derivative, which is dy dx. Luckily, that is what we are looking for, so we can go ahead and multiply by y to solve for dy dx.